I chose RVCC because it was close, it's affordable, and it's good uh, school, good program. Some of my concerns coming into the program were that I wasn't going to have the same skill level as other kids did. I thought they would have a higher level. And then as the program proceeded on, I noticed that we all had pretty much the same level. Uh, my only concerns coming into the program were tools and the level of actual in-car experience that I would learn under the hood, turning wrenches kind of training rather than book training. Uh, I felt was more important and it delivered. I heard from a couple of friends that the program was very well uh, structured and from what I've experienced here that's true, ended up to be true, so I like what I'm doing here. Uh, the best part of the program was the diversity of the teachers and their teaching styles. Having different styles let you choose and sift through uh, and decide which was the best style for you, which way worked better. Our program here at Raritan Valley Community College is designed uh, to be cutting edge. Our program is competency-based where not only do we develop their skill, but we develop their, their attitudes, their personalities, the, the things that make them uh, an employer's desire of hire. The way we divide the time in this program is we have roughly about an hour to an hour and a half worth of, of lecture, and the remainder of the time, which is another three and a half to four and a half hours, is all in hands-on. Uh, it's five days a week. They are set up in such a way where they have to perform the same tasks on multiple vehicles. So they see the similarities and the differences between cars and they develop the skill to be able to analyze and figure it out once they come up with something they have not seen before. The best part of the program to me was the fact that you have a lot of support from your classmates and from your teachers as well. Everyone's there to help you out with achieving whatever goal you're trying to achieve and nobody's there to make fun of you or put you down or anything. They're always, they're always trying to get you to move along and get you ahead in the automotive technology industry. There is uh, an environment here that is more than getting things right and getting things wrong. It's a, uh, an environment of learning. Uh, assessments are ones that you can grow into passing and that process is the learning process. Uh, you'll make mistakes, you learn from your mistakes. Uh, it's not something where you get one shot, pass the test and you're out. The way this program changed me, it just made me more like notice how it's not just like working on cars, it's like you're putting people's lives in your hand also. This program has changed me as a person. It's made me realize how hard you really need to work in this field from so many other shops telling me how hard it is to find a good entry level tech. It's a lot more than just putting in the eight hours a day and going home and, and having weekends off to yourself. It's, it's, a, it's a dedication that's a level up other than most other jobs in, in the field. My future plans are way down the line to get involved in a performance and restoration shop. I would love to get into uh, marine mechanics. Uh, my future plans are to open my own shop in hopefully California. Um, my future plans are really just stay working at the place I'm working now, at the dealership. And just uh, without going into the the class, I wouldn't be able to really get that job. Like, I wouldn't have the confidence, I wouldn't have the skill really to go into that job. Feedback from local employers has been extremely positive. Uh, we have employers that are looking to get as many of our students as we're willing to give them. And to have employers asking for students, our problem is having students that will go to the distances that people are asking for. Uh, we have employers in East Brunswick that are looking. We have local ones. We have ones in uh, greater distances from that. The problem is that employable technicians are very rare. And we have uh, a higher quality coming out that is starting to make its mark. I got a job through Diane Sievers, who is uh, in charge of job placement at RVCC. As of right now, I'm loving where I'm at. Uh, the ability to be placed into a job through RVCC was fantastic. Um, so right now I'm, I'm loving where I'm at and I'm loving what the school has done for me.